life that she's going to be one. She's, she's bossed me the hell around already. Um, this uh, next poem is about my aunt, and I'd like to thank poetry a little bit, because um, I never got to show her this poem, but then when I wrote my poem for her grandmother, um, for my grandmother, I was able to see her right before she died. And it was all because I had shows and I had things where I could go read this poem. And, you know, it kind of came, came in a way to fill in that sadness. So this is uh, called Having Floated Down on Wings. What was thought junk DNA has been found to be differently encoded treasure. Mm -hmm. Some strands are yellowing letters addressed from past lives, aged correspondence in living history books. We do not yet know which section of our cells tucked away our wings when cast out of heaven. Some believe Adam and Eve had extra chromosomes, so first cousins split genes instead of the genetic disease. Does that mean an extra splice puts man closer to divinity? Are those born with Down syndrome nearer the source of which we are graven image? My aunt is a being with a kitten heart. She is eternal child, and children have the fewest years since their souls occupied throne room. This nearness to purity and inherent innocence shows in the smile she and others with Down syndrome tend to flash. This grin is one that is hard to attain in a world which requires resounding cynicism. People who bear fanged sarcasm and hold their own burden silent are referred to as strong, as steel. Those who fail to do so are eventually forgiven, as we all know that not everyone holds the same strength. So why is it that when a person we realize is capable makes a mistake, we do not embrace their error as a requirement of humanity, instead delivering a backhand to the humane treatment of those around us, calling the mistake maker retarded? Ironically, ridicule is something that brings people together, just always at the expense of the few, of the weak. But who is weak? My aunt is named Valerie, but her cross is called Valor. Mm -hmm. She has been fighting twice as hard to make it halfway to the life expectancy of the average person. My aunt Valerie writes in tongues, or maybe Aramaic. This creative writing system uses notebooks as letterhead to reach actors from mid-70s television shows, for she maintains an infinite appreciation of imagination. Glowing, she reads you her tomes in an effort to show you how the two of you are equal, and you are. The checklist of shared accomplishments is long. Employed, check. Imagination, check. Love, check. Kindness, check. Smile, check. Her nearness to holiness is not held over your head. Your motor skills do not raise you above her. Though different in nature, we are all equal in life. My Aunt Valerie has a simple life. The kind many of us long for, one where we can be honest and caring, one where we can be like children, amazed at the simplest things, happy when near family, never insulting others out of hatred. Of course, with hatred isn't the only way to insult someone. Indirectly, people degrade and address others with a harmful phrase that means slow because they lack an additional piece of humanity. Because they know nothing of my aunt's wings. Uh, so, good news coming up in my poem. So, my mom is a little too sick to travel, and my dad was too tired from going out of town. 